right from 1996, after the elections of 1996, we launched UPE, Universal Primary Education. And after some years, we launched USE, Universal Secondary Education. And the whole idea was the children of the poor should be looked after by Uganda. Uganda should, should help them to study free. And we put money, we put money in the, in the, we always put money in the budget to pay for the cost of education. But the local leaders and, and even uh, you, the MPs, you don't follow that one up. So we spend money, but the, the teachers, because they are looking for money, for money, they think the children are, are a business to get money from. Even the churches, even the churches, the churches had what they were calling endoboro. Endoboro, that every child who is studying must pay endoboro. Bamuja cent. Burman asoma, ekanisa nayo, nemuja cent. So that's how the children of the poor stay out of school. The refusal. The, the refusal by the teachers, but also especially by the leaders, because the, the leaders could have forced them to implement UPE, has kept so many children out of the, of the school. And you can see this by the figures. In, in, in primary schools, we have got almost 11 million children. But if you go to the secondary schools, all of them, private and government, the number there is like 2.6 million. And yet the years of primary are seven years, and the years of secondary school are, are six. So they're almost the same, same period in, in time. So you wonder where did the seven million go? they dropped out of school. Dropped out of school, why? Because of the charges imposed by the teachers and the politicians who failed to implement the government program. We want to use force to implement that program. But we are going carefully, we want to, first of all, because they give excuses that the, the money which, the, what we call the per capita, the, the money we send per child, that they say it's not enough. Okay, let's, let's start and see what, how much more can we add. So when we are ready, we were diverted by, we wanted to implement it in, in this, this Kisanja, but we were diverted by Corona and all those problems we had. But this is the way, the, the way to go. Here, Mama has demonstrated that free education is possible. You can educate children for free. In some of the, of the areas, like uh, I have done the same in, in Kanyarieru. I have done it in uh, Chisozi, Chisozi, where I stay. Those schools, their children study free. So it is possible to provide free education. But the problem is just the, the greed of the, of, the, of the people who are supposed to look after these children. They look, they look at them as a source of money. No, 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 the, the idea is not to, 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 to help them. So I want to thank Mama for fulfilling that vision of the NRM here at, 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 at the Weso level. I want to salute Mama apart from this effort. When she joined politics, me, I didn't support it. When she joined, went to Rahama, I did not support it because I, I, I thought she was not political. Even when we are at home, she's always watching, uh, there's a, a, an American woman called Margaret, 
there's another boy called something. The, 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 the preachers. The, but the corruption-free leadership she has brought in the ministry. This one I can testify. The, the corruption, she went to Karamoja, they were getting so much money, those local governments of yours, but nothing was being done. Like water, she told me each district of Karamoja was getting 800 million sh shillings. Now, there are about 10 districts in Karamoja. So, each year, you would get 8 billion shillings in Karamoja. But no, 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 no water anywhere. Yeah. She had to start now a, 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 a war of resistance there against those groups. Then she came to, to, to the Minister of Education, and a big struggle there. One of the big wars she had to fight was the war of furniture. Your people were importing furniture from India. Imagine, in Tebe, importing from India. Then she said, why? Why don't we have... And there were, there were local furniture people who wanted to sell, but uh, I don't know why they were not... Uh, uh, she had to fight that war. So this one I can testify that Mama apart from the welfare issue, the, the philanthropy issue here. When she joined politics, which I did not myself care about, uh, support even, even initially, but she said God had told her. And she, 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 she insisted and she went. And indeed God used her to, 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 to do some good work in Karamoja. This, this one I can testify. And now, in the Ministry of Education. So I thank those people who have organized this get together and the uh, celebration is here and bring me to Masurita back after so many years. I'm very happy. And now I have connected with my people. I'm going to, to come and camp on the other side and we see how to, co to, 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 to them. So congratulations, Mama, and thank you everybody for, for coming to participate, to celebrate with Mama especially the, the elders. When I see the elders, Mrs. 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 Alika, all these elders, uh, there, there are some others who, who, whose names are not known to you people. There's somebody called Chemi Zhuvi. I, I don't think you have ever heard of such a person. Mrs. Vaingana, and all, I don't want to mention all those hidden secrets here. I'm very happy to see you. Thank you so much.